When you use building software like Revit or SketchUp, you know how difficult it is to align on your models with a 2D screen. With increasingly complex projects, costlier issues, and remote teams, you need a place to experience your work together before construction has even started. That place is in the wild, where building teams like yours can present, collaborate, and review projects together from anywhere using virtual and augmented reality. With powerful VR tools for markups, reviews, BIM coordination and presentations, the Wild is the easiest way to reduce design flaws and mitigate costly clashes before construction. Head into the Wild to experience it yourself for free at thewild.com. In the meantime, here's how easy it is to use. Once you've created a project in our desktop application, you can import any asset you want, whether it's 2D, 3D, or import a space from a manual file or straight from BIM 360. You can create collections of any assets, whether it's interior models, PBR materials, videos, and etc. When it comes time to share your space, all you need to do is drop a quick note and then send them an invite. Now that it's time to join, we'll just double click on the space and immediately we're met with the workshop view. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Yeah, yeah, and again, welcome everyone into the wild, into the workshop here. And such a great use case that we see of the wild is that it really can be used as a charrette, a roar room, a prototyping environment as well. And what makes that possible, as Austin highlighted, is anything that you've loaded into your desktop app, 2D assets, 3D assets, video content, really become items that you can put up and insert into this environment. And the, the goal of this is that we recognize people take in information differently. Some people it is 2D, some people it is 3D, some people it is video content. Like you can see, we have this MP4 over here. And the goal being is that however you have to support your narrative, your story, wherever you're at in the design workflow, that you have a mechanism, you have a communication channel that will help get that idea across in the clearest, most concise way, whether that be early stage or late stage when you're meeting with a client to do that final walkthrough. So great, great use case of how we're seeing our customers leverage this war room in the Tourette environment. Yeah, it looks great, AJ. And you're right, it's so powerful to have this variety of communication formats at our fingertips. Everyone dissects information differently, and this really helps to understand the project from design and construction. Great to have that here. So Raj, what are we looking at the table on right here? So here's the Revit model I was trying to email you about earlier. Um, I think it's just easier for us to stand right next to it in this, in, in this dollhouse view. Mind if I come stand next to you? So now I know that you can see everything that I can, and it just makes for easier and just better communication, right? So for instance, if I wanted to use the visibility tool and we wanted to take a closer look at what's underneath, and so we look at, I'm going to remove the walls and remove the stairs. And it just gives us a better understanding of the components we're working with. Um, also, if we wanted to use the inspect tool and, uh, you know, just take a closer look, I'm going to go ahead and take some information off the roof here. And we honestly, we can take a look at the analytical properties, some of the constraints we're under, and even materials and finishes. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just envisioning standing in here with our subcontractors, our designers, everyone in the same shared space with a universal language, honestly, being able to look at this BIM data that automatically carries over from Revit and have a conversation right on the spot. It's so great to just point and click to queue it. And it doesn't just have to be at one to one scale, right? Like we see how AJ's teleporting his avatar down there. <laughs> Hello, AJ, to your tiny avatar. You have Hello, that. Hello, up there. <laughs> yeah, you have that perspective down at the model, but at the same time, we can see in the workshop at the bird's eye view that gives us a little more cross communication of what our building looks like at every perspective. Most definitely. Yeah, and then I can easily gather the entire group down to me so we can keep keep everyone together, whether it be, you know, wanting to have those multiple vantage points or get everyone back together on the same same page. And that also opens up a really important topic as well, especially as you all may be bringing in your customers or some of your sub consultants for the first time. How do you minimize them getting lost in a model or stuck behind a wall or a floorboard? Well, with our tours function, and think of it like a vantage, a save frame or vantage point from Revit, we can curate the experience that people have when they come in here 
putting them exactly where they need to be so that they don't have to worry about navigation whatsoever. So let me go ahead and take us on a guided tour so you all can get that experience and speak to a little bit more components of that can hop out in front, not to be the, hey, hey, look at me center of attention, but obviously a member of your team would have saved each one of these frames for a very specific reason. There's a narrative, there's a story, and the fact that I can still have access to my tools, what, like what Raj highlighted earlier, maybe this view we wanted to discuss uh, with one of our subs, how the electrical and the plumbing is coming together. So we wanna turn off some, on or off some different layers of the model. We accomplish what we need. We can easily go to the next view. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Client, I want you to imagine looking down from your top island down to your beautiful open floor plan, accomplish what we need here, all the way down to the final view where maybe we're thinking through some different materials on this island in this breezeway over here, and I can use our paint tool and start to apply those materials, and we can really think through some of the finishes. The possibilities are endless, but most importantly, Imagine sending out like a nice headset to your customers, a nice branded box. It already has the wild installed on it. All they need to do is put on that headset and you can put them exactly where they need to be. No need to worry about navigation whatsoever. I'll end the tour and then everyone can step out into the environment right back in here at that one to one scale as well. So a great way to shepherd people, act as a Sherpa, take them through the environment. Yeah, and it's amazing how efficiently that focuses our conversation down what would be the usual free for all in a conference or Zoom call or emails. You have a very concise narrative and you can just show us exactly what those precise viewpoints are. And on that note, since we're in this space, I do believe that you guys wanted to show me some interior design options. So why don't you prototype some of those ideas that you had? And in the meantime, I'm gonna to transition to VR headset and join you very briefly. All right, here we are back in VR. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Awesome. Great to see all your virtual avatars again. Now I'm meeting you with our controllers, and we have the ability to use some of these very powerful VR tools that make these meetings so much more rich. We're starting in the Explore tool, but I'm actually going to grab and just kind of interact with a lot of these great ideas that AJ and Raj and Nick have already started in here. I'm going to grab that carpet you suggested and place it on the floor. That looks pretty good. What do you think, AJ? Perfect. Yeah, looks fantastic. Yeah. I love how you've laid that out, how it breaks up the room. Raj, I see you're working on some chairs here. Yep, you're using our mass tool to make a quick copy. Uh, That's a great way to just take some of these assets. And if I wanted to take a copy of this table, I could just place it right over there. Sure. Yeah, it looks great. Keep moving along, Nick. Doing great work with this kitchen over here. And I see that you've applied that texture to our countertop here. It's also really great mm -hmm. to see that we have the optionality if we want to sample other stuff, like if we want to do that backsplash over there. Yep, it's looking good. You know, Nick, I'm going to take a quick measurement while we're in here just to see what kind of clearance we have. I'll select our perpendicular and I'll just lay in a quick measurement that goes right up to there. Yep, 12 feet, two and three sixteenths inches. That looks pretty good. Let's say maybe we're in here and we actually want to close off some space to see what it looks like to section out this room. I can edit using our mask tool and grab that wall over there, pull it back just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I'm actually gonna sample while we're at it to see what it looks like to paint that. Pretty cool, it's, it's a good option to have over there. And lastly, I think to make a, another comment over here while we're making some additions, I think I want to get a little more visibility right over here. What do you guys think? Just so we can have a little more clearance for this window room. I think when we made it in Revit, it was just a little too high. Add one foot of clearance. Perfect. We'll leave that tag there and that comment should export as a PDF with a screenshot of where we saved it. We can go back into Revit and very quickly make that change. Awesome. Well, I think we've got some pretty great changes in here so far. This is very quick work for what would have been several minutes of back and forth in Revit, emails, meetings. So what do you all say we take a quick picture here and track our progress? You all want to say cheese for I the guess. camera? We'll add this camera right here. We'll take a quick picture that spits out like a Kodak film. This will automatically save 
into a JPEG in our headset as well as any other devices we're connected to. So we can compare before and after. All of those comments will export as a PDF as our virtual minute minutes. And I'd say we're done here. Guys, we made very quick work of this. Why wouldn't you give me a little virtual high five and I'll see you all back in here very quickly in the wild. In the meantime, to anyone watching, if you'd like to meet us in the wild, try it out for yourself for free at thewild.com. We'll look forward to seeing what all you bring into the spaces. 